Hi, I'm First Class Petty Officer Shimmick, a crew member of the historic ship Nautilus out of Groton, Connecticut. You won't find William Charette in the museum's Medal of Honor gallery, but his story is incredible and equally important to the story of the submarine service. Charette joined the Corpsman in 1951, where before long he served in Korea after seeing many severely wounded Marines come to Naval Hospital in Charleston, South Carolina. He left for Korea in 1953 with the 1st Marine Division. On March 26 and 27th, the North Korean Army overran two hills considered vital to the defense of South Korean capital. Charette's unit of Marines counterattacked on the 27th, taking part in 24 hours of intense fighting. Despite severe wounds received early in battle, Charette rendered aid to several wounded Marines under heavy fire. When the Marines were ordered to retreat, the fire was so intense that they had to stay low to the ground. This did not stop Charette from carrying badly wounded Marines safely through the fire. In 1954, Charette was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions in Korea. Only five enlisted sailors, all corpsmen, received the Medal of Honor in Korea, and of them, Charette was the only one to survive. At the ceremony, he met the famed submarine Captain Edward Beach whom he would serve under later. His citation is as follows. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life and of beyond the call of duty and action against enemy aggressor forces during the early morning hours of the 27th of March, 1953. Participating in a fierce encounter with cleverly concealed and well-entrenched enemy force, occupying positions on vital and bitterly contested outposts far in advance of the main line of resistance, HM3 Charette repeatedly and unhesitatingly moved through a murderous barrage of hostile small arms and mortar fire to render the assistance to his wounded comrades. When an enemy grenade landed within a few feet of a marine he was attending, he immediately threw himself upon the stricken man and absorbed the entire concussion of the deadly missile with his body. Although sustaining painful facial wounds and undergoing the shock from intensity of the blast which ripped the helmet and medical aid kit from his person, HM3 Charette resourcefully improvised emergency bandages by tearing off part of his clothing and gallantly continued to administer medical aid to the wounded in his own unit and to the adjacent platoon areas as well. Observing a seriously wounded comrade whose armored vest had been torn from his body by the blast of an exploding shell, he selflessly removed his own battle vest and placed it upon the helpless man, although fully aware of the added jeopardy to himself. Moving to the side of another casualty who was suffering excruciating pain from a serious leg wound, HM3 Charette stood upright in the trench line and exposed himself to deadly hail of fire in order to more effectively aid the victim and alleviate his anguish while being removed to a position of safety. By his inimitable courage and inspiring efforts in behalf of the wounded comrades, HM3 Charette was discreetly responsible for saving many lives. His great personal valor reflects the highest credit upon himself and enhances the finest traditions of the U.S. Naval Service.